Hey guys, the objective of this video is to develop a bending moment equation and draw the bending moment diagram for the second case, g plus 0.3q. So just, I've already drawn our um, grid line one, the span along grid line one. We have the w, the w, for the, both the same, 54.1. The w here is 64.6. And I've just added in the fixed end moments, which we found from the moment distribution analysis. So we have 48182, 563, 563. 182, 408, okay? 408, 182, 563, 563, 182 and 408, 182 and 408. So I've just put those end moments on our beams. So just like before, we're gonna go and find key points along our beams using the bending moment equation. So if a span one to two, we have moment at one is 408, moment at two is 182, the length is eight meters and the UDL is 54.1 kilonewtons per meter. Our general bending moment equation looks like this. We're gonna sub in for those values. So 54.1 on two X squared plus M2 minus M1 is 182 minus 408 on the length eight minus WL. So 54.1 by eight divided by two, all that is outside of X plus M1 where M1 is 408, so plus 408. Simplifying this, we'd get 27x squared minus 244.x, 244.7x, sorry, plus 408. Now we can use this equation to find some key points. The first point of interest is going to be the maximum sagging value. So we're going to say that the maximum sagging occurs at m dash equals m dash of x equals zero. So differentiating the moment equation. So our moment equation was this one. Differentiating this, we'd get 54.1 x minus 244.7 equals zero. Solving this for x, we get 4.5 meters. So the maximum sagging occurs at 4.5 meters. Finding the actual moment, we